morning everyone today i am going to share a wonderful story of a little boy rakesh the chimney tree which is written by famous author raskin bon rakesh was 6 years old and lived with his grandfather on the outskirts of mysore one day rakesh went to the bazaar and bought a packet of cherries wow yummy These red chilies are so sweet. He ate them all the way. When he got home, only three cherries were left. Oh no! Grandpa, would you like to have cherries? Yes, sure. Grandpa picked up one and he quickly gobbled up the remaining two. Grandpa, do you think these are lucky? Yes, Rakesh, they are. Let me quickly go and keep it in my cupboard. Hey, wait! Things are lucky when they are put to you. Instead of keeping it in the cupboard, go outside and throw it into the soil. Days passed by. What got the food to eat? Soon it was three cold winter and snow. Grandpa would tell wonderful stories, and in return, Rakesh would read newspaper for him. Soon it was monsoon, spring and monsoon, spring and summer soon. One day, Rakesh noticed a little twig. He tried to pull it out, but it had stung root. Rakesh shouted, "Grandpa, come here! See the, see, look at this! Did you remember? I carry seed here." He watered it carefully and circled with the pebbles. It was monsoon. It it was monsoon now. The little twig grew a little bigger and had several new leaves on it. But unfortunately, one day, oh no! Shoo, shoo! Go away! Shoo, shoo! Oh no! She ate it all. Tears rolling down from his eyes. He was heartbroken. Grandpa asked, "What happened, Rakesh? Peta, a goat ate all the leaves. Only stems and branches are left." Don't be upset. It will grow again. Cherry trees are tough. By the end of monsoon, it has no leaves on it. But accidentally, in winters, it was cut by a lady while cutting grass. Grandpa scolded the lady very badly for what she has done. Grandpa. And grandpa, Rakesh and Grandpa lost their hope if cherry tree can shine. Next, Next summer, Rakesh was it now, and luckily the cherry tree survived and had several new branches and leaves on it. Rakesh was monitoring the plant carefully. Next February was Rakesh's birthday. He was going to be nine, and Cherry Tree was four. One morning, Grandpa called Rakesh. Rakesh, come here. See the pink blossoms at the end of a branch. In summer, there were small cherries on the tree. Grandpa liked to sit on a chair under the tree, and Rakesh liked to lay down on the grass and bend a tree. Rakesh asked Grandpa, "There are so many trees in this garden, but what's so special about this tree? Why do we love it so much?" Rakesh, we have planted it ourselves. We took great care of it. We are the witness of all sorrow and joy. That's why it's special. Thank you. Have a nice.
Okay. Wow.